There is Behemoth on earth, Leviathan under sea, and Ziz the Phoenix in the sky, said to be large enough to be able to block out the sun with its wingspan. It is considered a giant animal, monster, corresponding to archetypal creatures. Rabbis have said that the Ziz is comparable to the Persian Simur, while modern scholars compare the Ziz to the ancient Sumerian, an Zu, and the Greek Phoenix. There is only passing mention of the Ziz in the Bible, found in Psalms 50.11. I know all the birds of the mountains, and Ziz Shaddai is mine. And Psalms 80.13.14. The boar from the forest ravages it, and Ziz Shade feeds on it, and these are often lost in translation. But the boar from heaven is fear, the fallen one. It is the Vara boar form figure in the Hindu legends, and Ziz or Anzu is the demon that feeds from it. The Agadot mentions the Ziz. As Leviathan is king of the fishes, the Ziz is appointed to rule over the birds. The Ziz is a monstrous size as the Leviathan himself. The ankles of the Ziz rest on the earth and his head reaches to the very sky. It once happened that travelers on a vessel noticed a bird as he stood in the water it merely covered his feet, and his head knocked against the sky. The onlookers thought that the water could not have any depth at that point, and they prepared to bathe there. A heavenly voice warned them, A light not here. Once, a carpenter's axe slipped from his hand at this point, and it took seven years to touch the bottom. This may be the marina trench, which is the deepest known part in the Earth's oceans. It would appear that the Leviathan is ascending in story to heaven. As above, so below, so below, as above. And in relation to that heavenly voice that warned them, the bird the travelers saw was none other than Ziz. His wings are so huge that unfurled they darkened the sun. They protect the earth against the storms of the south. Without their aid, the earth would not be able to resist the winds blowing thence. Let me remind you that the demon of the southwest wind is in fact Anzu. So Ziz would be the protection from Anzu. Same forwards as back. Once, an egg of the Ziz fell to the ground and broke. The fluid from it flooded 60 cities, and the shock crushed 300 cedars. And the fallen one was said to land in the cedar mountains. Fortunately, such accidents do not occur frequently. I'd say every 6,000 years dividing the zodiac into thrice great, into a trinity, as are Behemoth, Leviathan, and Ziz. As a rule, the bird lets her eggs slide gently into the nest. This one mishap was because the egg was rotten and the bird cast it away carelessly. Here, the bird is referred to as female, yet it was male before. The Ziz has another name, Renanin, because he is the celestial singer, on account of his relationship to the heavenly regions. If he is Leviathan, then this is the voice of the Abyss, which may be another realm. He is also called Sequi, the Seer, and besides, he is called Son of the Nest because his fledgling birds break away from the shell 
without being hatched by a mother bird. We are told here that it is male and it has no mother. They spring directly from the nest. As it were, like Leviathan, Ziz is a delicacy to be served to the pious at the end of time. The creation of the fifth day, the animal world rules over the celestial spheres. This would be the zodiac, and demons were created on the fifth day. Witness the ziz, which can darken the sun with its pinions. Pinions can also be a reference to pinning down, like the lion of Babylon pinning the prostrate man, meaning dominance over mankind. We've seen in the previous demon documentary that the rooster, the cockerel, signifies the end of this demon's power. In an account by Humphrey Prideaux in 1698, he describes the Ziz as being like a giant celestial rooster. For in the tract Bava Bathra of the Babylonian Talmud, we have a story of such a prodigious bird called Ziz, which standing with its feet upon the earth, reached to the heavens with its head, and with the spreading of its wings, darkens the whole orb of the sun, and causes a total eclipse. This bird, the Chaldi paraphrast on the Psalms says, it is a cock which he described of the same bigness, and tells us that he crows before the Lord, and that God gave him wisdom for this purpose. The zodiac may actually be Ni, Melam, Fear, which is also related to the Fallen One and Zu. As you can see, the lion-faced god wears the zodiac as clothing. I believe it, the entity, is all of the zodiac. Please hit that notification bell to ensure that you are notified of each upload. Share, like, comment and subscribe to support the channel. For more Mythology 7 Documentaries